Right. Uh, in the previous episode or previous clip, I said I was going to have to print some tyres to go on these wheels because I don't have any of the right size. And I'm printing them in PLA so they're rigid, they're not soft rubber tyres. It's actually taken me three attempts to get the right um, clearance so they do actually fit. If I can do it with one hand. There we go, so that does actually fit just right now. But before I glue them on, I'm going to see if I can put some rubber around the outside. I have some self amalgamating tape, which is a rubber tape that if you pull it round tight on itself, it actually seals itself to itself. It becomes a single layer. So I'll see if I can stretch that round there and create rubber tires. Can't put very much on there because if I've, as I've already said, we haven't got much clearance. It's designed for quite small wheels and tires. So when I do have to reprint this, as I expect I will, I will make that gap bigger, the wheel arch bigger, so it can take wheels the same size as the original. Uh, motor, we need an electric motor. I have rather a lot of them, one way and another. And this is one this is one I've actually bought. I've got about half a dozen of these that I actually bought, even though I've got loads of recovered ones from other toy cars. That's one I bought somewhere. Happens to be the right size. I'm pretty sure this is one that's got carbon brushes rather than brass brushes. And I found an eight pin or eight tooth gear, which is what uh, the guy says we should use on this one. So we should be good to go. I'll put a connector on there and then we can give it a try. I've soldered a JST lead on there, female. Oh, I've already put a metal rod through the middle because I did manage to break the wheel off when I was fiddling with it. All the layers are crossways, so that um, PLA tube, which is the back axle, is very weak crossways. So it does, does need that metal rod. That's just a bit of bicycle spoke, happens to be the right diameter. So that's right the way through. So. Right, that's a little bit loose. That will be where my layers of PLA didn't settle properly. Remember, it's printed that way up, and somehow it was supposed to print uh, on fresh air there. I'm not quite sure how that was supposed to print without any support layers. Oh, it's only a tiny bit out. I can soon adjust that with a a hot something hot and just melt it a little bit anyway that's in uh, what can we give it try it with that one okay that appears to be working um, if we connect it to here Put that one into there and switch the controller on. Okay, that's looking good. Uh, servo now, he just shows it glued in place. I'm surprised he didn't make up a little uh, bracket like I did on that other car I did to actually hold that in place. We could use a bigger servo there. I'm sure he showed the little one, but uh, I'll 
This is one I've been using for something else, which is well, it's got some external wires on it. But that would fit on there okay. Still got room for the receiver and the ESC and the battery. That'll all fit in there. Hmm, progress. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.